Good morning, fam, and happy Friday to you. This is Dr. Tommy Pringle coming to you again with another Work Week inspirational and encouraging weekly recap for this week. And on Tuesday, we talked about how to imitate God as his dear children. So from a spiritual standpoint, what better way to understand how to imitate God than to learn from the one who is the only son of God, Jesus Christ. And on Wednesday, we talked about encouragement in walking in love and how Christ showed us how much he loved us by giving himself up for us. This is the ultimate reflection and display of love because Christ is essentially saying that our lives are worth more to him than his own. And on Thursday, we talked about encouragement in being a saint. And this particular scripture called out certain behaviors, sexual immorality, impurity, and covetousness that shouldn't be named among saints. And Paul is calling out the fact that this particular behavior is not in accordance with or accepted rules or standards of a Christian. In Ephesians 5, verse number 4, it continued to call out certain non-Christian-like behavior that shouldn't be associated with Christians. And it reads, let there be no filthiness, nor foolish talk, nor crude joking, which are out of place, but instead, let there be thanksgiving. So in spite of our situation, or what we're going through, or what our brothers and sisters in Christ are going through, we should not cause or cast crude jokes about the situation. We should not lead or engage in foolish talk about our situation. That may lead to tarnishing the view of a Christian in the eyes of others. Foolish talk or crude joking about your situation or others may cause others to question whether or not God is able to deliver on his promises and protect his own children. Let us remember that he is faithful and he is just in his actions. But also remember that we are promised that we'll experience trials and tribulations in the word of God. And this gives us the opportunity for sharing in the sufferings of Jesus Christ. So instead of being negative about the situation, let there be thanksgiving. Allow that to resonate in your spirit over the weekend as the Lord continues to shape and mold you into the Christian that he called you to be. Love you with the love of the Lord. Be blessed this week.